from the street, it's like, you know, it's a grower, not a shower. Exactly. From the street, it looks kind of small, and then you get into it, and it's like growing. Hello, friends! Welcome back to my channel. Actually, we should probably say Buongiorno. Ciao. 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 We're really working hard to get those accents down. If you follow us on Instagram or on TikTok, then you probably already know that we're basically living in Italy now. Is that... I don't know, month. that's like a slight exaggeration. For the month we're living here. <laughs> but we're currently posted up in a little town in Tuscany called Luca. If you know, you know, this is truly the most magical place on earth. And this is actually a place you grew up coming, like for most of your life. Yeah, my dad and brothers would come here. Stepmom would come every year for like 10 years straight or something like that. And they'd live here for the summer. And I have to say, when it comes to the Airbnb we're staying in, you nailed it. This place is like the is cutest. It, it is. Kiss. It is. It absolutely kiss. Is we even have like the Italian underwear drying situation happening over here? <laughs> First and foremost, we're just eating our way through this entire country, which has been <laughs> maybe like the best thing that's ever happened to me. You know it's my love language, food. like all the Italian wife things inside of me. There's another reason that we made the choice to come here to Italy and that is what we are about to film today. So as you guys probably know, Chris and I love investing in real estate, renovating properties, and gosh, how many years ago was it that we did our first one? Uh, is it four now or five? Uh, I'm five. honestly, I've I think kind we're of on lost year track. Five. So we've done probably about 20, Ish, close close to 20 15 to 20 yeah, properties like at this that. point yeah one of our favorites and what really got us going was when we renovated our first airbnb Reese resorts so cute i love resorts <laughs> And then naturally, naturally after we did that, we thought, you know what might be like the next step? As one does. <laughs> As one does. We renovated and abandoned. Hotel. <laughs> and after that, we thought like, okay, hotel, what's next? A yacht. living room and our bar and our dining room it's really open concept come on in what the actual heck so after the hotel and the boat you guys and honestly us too we've joked so much like what's next like what are we gonna do next are we gonna buy like a castle are we gonna buy a town like what are we going to do and that my friends is why we are here in italy today we have been communicating with a man here who is selling an entire abandoned village. <laughs> like no one lives there. It's an entire town and it's nestled in the heart of Tuscany. And we are here to see if we're the people to buy it. 
Oh, are, you, wait. are you regretting this well, choice? Well, the nice thing about it is it's abandoned and it's kind of in shambles from what the agent told us or the marketing firm. And so I think they just really want someone to come in and fix it up. And there's like no building restrictions really. I don't think there's any like historical restrictions. So we're not ruining history or anything. Are we on the brink of genius or are we totally out of control? Honestly, I have no idea, but as they say in Italy, Antiamo. Let's go. We're taking the Parmax. Does that mean we should stop for some Parmesan cheese? Babe, don't play with my heart. but we're making a quick little pit stop for, I don't know, an espresso. I honestly have no idea where we are, but I like it. It's very, very cute. This is the La Piazza de Parci. Where are we? But check it out. Beautiful Italian lizards gonna liz. Oh my gosh, they're cool looking here. Oh my gosh. Even the lizards are beautiful in Italy. A man and his creatures. Oh my gosh. I touch his tail. Oh, babe. He's shy. So today is Monday and we've noticed actually a lot of places are closed on Sundays and Mondays because Italians know how to actually like live their lives. They definitely take multiple days of rest a week, which I fully support, but I mean, hopefully this place is open. Huh. It says aperto, which I thought might open. But I think it's closed. By the way, can we talk about your outfit right now? Nautica shoes, Amazon socks, swim trunks, shirt, <laughs> dance moves provided by the man. The man. Ooh, okay, yes. Work it, twerk it, twerk it. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna head over here to Luca's bar. And bars in Italy are not like bars at home. Bars in Italy serve coffee little snack and of course also cocktails because again Italy is just like superior coffee and cocktails okay Starbucks look out So we're leaving Luca's bar and I have to say we just had the cutest experience of all time. We kind of wanted to like remember this experience so we asked the man inside, maybe he's Luca, I don't know. We asked him, can we buy one of your little espresso cups that says Luca's bar? <laughs> no big deal, he just gave it to us. We tried to pay him, we tried to tip him, he was like, no, no, no. Gosh, these Italians, they're so sweet. We're the best for a reason. <laughs> West Middlesex to the middle of Italy. <laughs> That's right, we were in Pennsylvania like one week ago. Wow, I like this maybe better. I mean, Pennsylvania is awesome, don't get me wrong, but Tuscany just slaps. We're almost there. We are very high up. They always say property values go up as you go up the hill. Okay, well this one's gonna be really, 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 really expensive because I think we're on top of the Carrara Mountains right now. We just saw two people walking and they like looked at us like, why are these people here? But also, oh my gosh, they must have the strongest calves of all time. Like, this is incredibly steep. Honestly, I hope we don't get like a flat tire up here. I don't even know if AAA is out here. I think we're stuck if we... Oh gosh, this is a... Okay, hold up. So while we trek out to this village, let me just break this whole thing down for you. A few months ago, I was at home, hanging out in LA, just kind of dreaming about our next project. And would you believe it? I saw this village in Tuscany listed for sale online. It just felt right. So obviously, naturally, like anyone would, I immediately reached out to the person who was selling it to get all the details and see if we could visit because duh, I mean, it just makes sense, right? And yes, I am out of control. I do understand, but what can I say? Sorry, not sorry. 
Anywho, here's what I found out. This is not just a house or a big property. This is quite literally an entire village with 18 different buildings, 40 bedrooms, and 20 bathrooms. It was built in the 1700s, which, OMG, it's so wild that this was before the USA even existed. It includes olive groves, orchards, pastures, woodlands, and even spring water. Oh, and also, did I mention there are horse stables? The village is located at the tippity top border of Tuscany with the Apuan Alps in the background and is currently listed for sale for 899,000 euros, which is about 961,000 US dollars. And not that it's cool or anything, but this property, like I mentioned, it has 40 bedrooms. And just to put it in perspective, an average four bedroom house in Los Angeles would easily cost two or even three times as much as this entire village. Wild. The agent selling the property was amazing. He totally welcomed our visit. He even sent us a ton of photos, but he did also warn us that the village hadn't sold yet because most people are just not ready for the scale of work. And he also said that we shouldn't enter any of the buildings on the property out of safety. But if y'all know us, you know that we are up for a challenge. So obviously we did what anyone who's like slightly Delulu would do. We bought plane tickets and flew halfway around the world to see this village. There are literally bees everywhere out here. You can hear them buzzing around. Don't get me wrong, I love bees. I think they are so necessary to planet Earth, but the movie My Girl, if you know, you know, ruined my life as a child and I'm still not over it. Wow. Moving back into the center road of the village, back to the church, not yet. The ancient IHS symbol. We have unit four up here, which we already saw. And then is this, like the outdoor space or maybe another garage. We're not supposed to go inside. People visited, that's in 2012. Don't go inside, babe. Oh, these are the horse stables. Oh my gosh, so we could have, oh gosh, that's like ancient poop right there. Oh my gosh, babe. This is unbelievable. 
This is amazing. Oh my gosh, I couldn't see it. Did you see that up there? I think those are the Carrara Mountains. I wish that this video had smell-o-vision because the aromas of all of the produce that's happening out here. I don't know where the basil is, but I can smell it. I can also definitely smell the olives. Low key, high key, this entire bush right here is full of bees. Like, I don't know if you guys can see and I'm honestly not willing to get any closer. That's all the bees. There's gotta be honey in there too. Can you hear it? It's a real bell. And I'm honestly so dramatic. I'm like, why do I feel like I'm being led to like my own beheading or something right now every time I hear bells ring like that? You have to keep in mind, this is not a house. This is a village. So would this be like the auto mechanic? Keep expecting to look into a window and see like a little girl pop out. <laughs> Chris just said he keeps expecting to look into a window and see like a little girl pop out. I hope he means like a cool, sweet little girl, not one of those like haunted little girls. <laughs> You know what I'm so confused by? At first I was gonna say this is an outdoor shower, but like, was this once inside? And it oh. Just disintegrated away? Oh my gosh, this might have been a bathroom at one point in time. But can't you imagine this could be like an Airbnb or a hotel of some sort? Look inside. I mean, this is why we're not allowed to go inside. You can kind of peek in. You've taken me to some places without walls and things, but this one might take the cake. This is by far the craziest. But this is easily also the most beautiful. I mean, look at this arch. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, so over here, this is like a garage situation. This so far looks like the biggest structure. So this could be a multitude of things. Maybe this could even be like a community store. Cause I mean, really a huge piece of this would be in restoring the village, like doing something here for the community. And of course, if tourists wanted to come enjoy it, that would be amazing as well. I thought it was just like a house, but look, it's actually a village with like little town streets and everything. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. This is so wild. Please tell me why. I just feel like at any point in time, Belle from Beauty and the Beast is gonna pop out this window. You said a little girl. I'm thinking bonjour, but the Italian version. <gasps> okay, so we're back in the car. Just finished checking out the village. What are your initial thoughts? It's pretty wild. It's like a mix of beauty, but like also maybe thriller horror movie because like <laughs> something's gonna pop out. Honestly, I'm totally blown away. I kept thinking like, oh, this is a really cool house. This is not a house. This is literally a hotel, grocery store, a restaurant, horse stables, pizza oven, laundry mat. What else am I missing? Church. There was a church, Chapel. a cafe, a bar, housing. This is just so cool. And the fact that stuff like this exists just proves how small our worldview is. Where we live in Los Angeles, there's nothing like this. Oh, wow, I'm just kind of blown away. Pretty, pretty amazing. From the street, it's like, you know, it's a grower, not a shower. Exactly. From the street, it looks kind of small, and then you get into it, and it's like growing. Really grew. Like, it just kept going and going and going. Oh, not only that farm. This would be an amazing location for a farm-to-table restaurant, and I think the concept for something like this, for whoever ends up taking on this beautiful project would be to really just like enhance this community because it's so stunning out here. It's obvious that a lot of people have vineyards and like that's their yeah. business. It would be so cool to just like add to the community in whatever way these people wanted. Yeah, be really. great. I and now I'm just like really, really nervous to get to the bottom of this mountain because y'all, very steep. If you just restored it and like allowed weddings to happen here. Oh my gosh. A wedding venue. I hadn't even thought of that. You're a genius. That's film festivals and wedding venues. Finally, finally back home from Italy, from Mexico, from we've basically been gone for two months, but we're back in our house, which we've like already fully trashed. So no fully place like home. Trashed. And we untrashed very well, but we trashed very well. But let's talk about the abandoned village. Still cannot even believe that that happened, that that exists, that we were offered the opportunity to potentially so buy weird. it. But I don't think we're gonna do it right now. I just don't think it's the right time for us. 
I don't think we're ready. I don't think we're ready. Man, I think we still have a lot to learn. Oh, there's our neighbor, hi. I think we have a lot to learn. And quite frankly, I think there are two components, which I wanna share with our real estate-y, investor -y type people out there. First off, we would have to move there. I think to oversee it. Like there would be no yeah. getting, we'd have to move there for probably a year. We just can't do that right now. The other thing is the citizenship element. I feel like if you were to get your citizenship in Italy, which you are eligible for, it would really make getting a loan a lot more possible. I think so too, yeah. Right? Yeah. Because from what we've heard, if you are not an Italian citizen, you just have to buy properties cash. If we're wrong though, let us know in the comments. And it's just like a lot of money. I mean, we don't have a million dollars. Just, I don't know. I mean, do you guys see how small our house is? Does it look like we have a million dollars just like to toss into a side hustle? Quite frankly, the, the property would cost a million, but how much do you think we'd have to put into it? I mean, I, I couldn't even guess, like probably a million. <laughs> At least. Like double. But you guys, if any of you watching this are like, this is the project for me, I cannot say enough amazing things about the property, about the person who's putting this deal together. So if you're interested, like hit me up and I will connect you guys. Seriously. I mean. Let's start a GoFundMe to buy it. We need to find like a really rich friend to like sponsor us or something. I love that. But for now, thank you so much for watching and supporting. And I don't know what our next big project is going to be. Actually, that's a lie. More to come. We love you guys. Ciao. Amen. Ciao. Ciao.